Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In the earlier video, we looked at the performance of this if conditional and using this when in the model. We just looped through 100,000 records and looked at how much this if statement or this when will take to resolve this. And if you haven't watched that video, then I would highly recommend you to watch that video. It will show you that this when statement is how many times slower than that of this normal if statement. And in this video, we'll be looking at why this when is so much slower than that of this if statement. So for this, we have to look inside this user model what this when method does. And we can easily say that why is it so slow. Okay, so first of all, let's go to user model. And here guys, let us search for when. So there is no when method. So now let's go to this user because this user is extending this authenticable, which is this user class. And now, and here also we don't have when method and I have already checked in all of these four classes, there is no when method. Now, if we go here inside this model, then also if we look for when, then there is no when method. And guys, I have also already looked into all these traits and all of them do not have any when method. And guys, if a method is being called and if there is no any methods in a class, then it will call the magic method underscore underscore call. And guys, we have already discussed about this in my previous videos where I have explained about internal workings of accessors and other things. I'll leave the link of that playlist just below the like button. So now guys, there is no when method. So it will look for underscore underscore call method. So here it is the call method. And now here guys, the first parameter will be the method name and second parameter will be the, the parameters that were passed to the method. So here in this case, if you look here, the method name will be when here method and these parameters will be these two parameters and guys it is just checking whether the method name is increment or decrement so we'll not go here and here guys it is checking the relationship and resolving it so we'll not go inside this as well now we'll go inside here and let me just quickly show you that by doing a dd over here and here guys i'll show you dollar method and dollar parameters so i'll just dump this method and parameter okay and here guys in this test, let me just cut it and let me remove all other things and let me just paste it over here like this. And if I run this test, then you can see here guys, here is a method name. Here are the two parameters, these two parameters, this one and this one that we have passed. So which means that it is not going inside any of these, it will just reach here. And here guys, it is just forwarding the call of that method to this new query. And if you look here inside this, so you can see here guys, it is just calling this method on the object. So whatever object it is returning, it is just calling the this method with the parameters. So here guys, if you look here, so it is just returning this illuminate database query builder. So inside the eloquent query builder, it will call the when method and it will pass the parameters. Now, if you look here inside the builder, and if I show you when method here, so we can see here there is no when method. So now let us look at these traits. And guys, I have already looked into it and that method is inside this builds queries. And again, inside here, it is a conditionable trait. And inside here, we have when method. So here guys, you can see here, it goes inside so many classes only to reach to the method. Now it has reached to the method. Now it will call this method and then it will just return whatever is inside this closer if it is a true. So you can see here guys why this when is so much slower than that of the normal if statement. So in a normal if statement, we'll just do if and just return it. But here, whenever we do when, it will just look into the user model. So it will not find there and it will again go to the class that it is extending, which is model class. And again, there also it will not find the when and again, it will look into the underscore underscore call method. Then again, it will go through multiple levels of classes. So that's why it is so much slower. So I hope guys, this was informative to you guys. If you want to see more videos like this, then just let me know in the comment section below and also give a huge thumbs up, which will really motivate me to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.